Hello guys, uh, this one is a continuation of our exploration of Immanuel Kant's Critique of Pure Reason. So in the you know first video we said that um, at the basis of physics there is metaphysics. Uh, you know, because we have this a priori knowledge which is not physically discoverable. So uh, then Immanuel Kant uh, essentially asks a really, really deep question. Uh, you know, what is space and what is time? Okay, and before we get to that, uh, we have to uh, deal with, a, with another question, and that is, uh, you know, something being analytic, you know, a judgment being analytic versus a judgment being something he calls synthetic. Okay, so I'm sure, uh, you know, these words are pretty familiar to you. And uh, you should kind of always keep in mind if you read philosophy that, you know, synthesis and in Husserl there is a lot of, you know, passive synthesis and, you know, synthesis of our perception of time. You know, the word synthesis, uh, when you see it in philosophy, uh, has to do with Kant, okay? Uh, he gave us this concept of synthesis. So, and I'm sure you know that, well, synthesis means uh, just kind of joining something together. You know, that's what it means. Uh, you know, you take... Uh, you know, one pipe, you take a different pipe, you take, you know, a welding machine, you, you weld them together, you know, you can say you synthesized them, you know, um, you know, mix a bunch of, you know, chemicals and you kind of synthesize a new substance, you know, put some, you know, nasty chemicals and mix them with some other nasty chemicals and bam, you have synthesized aspirin, for instance, or Viagra or whatever other medicine uh, might be useful. Um, so that's what, you know, synthesis means, you know, synthesis has to do with unifying and analysis is the opposite. Uh, analysis is, you know, breaking stuff down. So, um, perhaps you know that calculus is also called analysis and, you know, what is calculus basically, you know, at the most fundamental level? Well, it's about, um, you know, taking, let's say a chunk of stuff and breaking it down into, uh, you know, tiny, tiny, infinite little increments, you know, like you're given a volume and you break it down into uh, infin infinitesimal little things, tiny, tiny little, you know, units of volume or area or length, and then you add them up, you know, that's what calculus deals with. So analysis is about breaking down. So uh, to kind of uh, give you perhaps, uh, you know, an complicated example if you're not familiar with calculus uh, you know analysis is taking a derivative and synthesis is integrating and uh, essentially you know this is really really important for understanding the critique of pure reason uh, you know something being analytic versus you know something being synthetic so for Kant synth synthetic you know, judgments have to do with us synthesizing different concepts and uh, analysis has to do with breaking down concepts. And, you know, this is kind of curious that, um, you know, analytic concepts do not increase our knowledge according to Kant. So with, you know, with an analytic uh, judgment, you just, you know, uh, look what's under the hood you know there's your car you know it starts to smoke you pop the hood you know you check it out you know what's what's wrong it's already there you just kind of you know break down your car a little bit and you know and the example you know Kant gives is uh you know uh all bachelors are unmarried you know like if you are a bachelor you are by definition unmarried you know and uh really simple to come up with, you know, other analytic judgments, you know, like, uh, I mean, <laughs> a dead person is not living, you know, uh, a living person has an age, uh, you know, we, we just look at the concept of, you know, being alive, you know, and the concept of being alive implies, you know, being alive for X number of years. So, you know, the, you know, concept of being alive implicitly includes, you know, the concept of, you know, being X years old, you know, so these are uh, analytic 
uh, judgments and they do not increase our knowledge okay so uh, now you know let me ask you a question uh, what about mathematics does mathematics in increase our knowledge of the world well absolutely it does so you know mathematical judgments do increase our uh, knowledge of the world because mathematics is very applicable to you know physics and physics definitely increases our knowledge of the world and for kant mathematics is synthetic okay and this uh has been criticized you know big time by other philosophers uh you know like frege uh, brentano husserl heidegger so many philosophers criticized you know kant's uh, statement that uh, and hegel too you know that uh, sort of uh, you know mathematics is all synthetic you know they all challenged him on this but you know we are talking about critique of pure reason not with later developments so for kant mathematics is synthetic and you know the example he gives is you know super complicated math you know five plus two okay that's his example uh, you know and he says well five fingers two fingers you know this is concept of five this is concept of two and bam they come together you get seven so and, and he says no matter how much you look at five no matter how much you look at two no matter how much you look at the concept of addition you know you cannot see seven in that okay so it requires an intuition of synthesis you know uh, this, you know, mathematical judgment, you know, five plus two equals seven is synthetic because it synthesizes, you know, you know, five and two. And it's only when, when it's all done that you can see the result, you know, you first, you synthesize, you know, the two of them, and then you see the result. So that's how mathematics is for Kant, you know, uh, to give you another example, to clarify, you know, look at the, uh, concept of three sides you know three sides in a triangle you know three sides uh you know three angles in a triangle and somehow they give you 180 degrees you know and Kant says well this is a synthetic statement too you know you have uh you know three sides you know line 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 you know you just have stupid three lines and you know how can you you know certainly a priori say that uh, you know, these three lines, when they're forming a triangle, will give you 180 degrees. It's only as a result of intellectual synthesis that you can see this. And mathematical proofs are all, mathemat they're all syntheses, okay? They synthesize, they take different concepts which are, you know, separate, and they blend them together in a synthesis. And that's what all of mathematics is. It's just... Uh, a priori synthetic uh, judgments which are true okay um, and analytic judgments once again are you know they're whatever but synthetic judgments give us this incredible you know mathematics so i hope this uh was you know clear so perhaps uh to you know just give you one uh more example uh to uh go back to our first video you know these are uh, newtonian statements uh you know such as uh, you know every object if you push it it pushes back towards you like it requires a synthetic intuition so once again uh you know sci uh, sciences you know precise sciences you know such as physics and uh you know mathematics they are a priori synthetic disciplines 